so we decided to come to Old Navy today to see what they have, see if they have any good spring prints. Um, spoiler alert, yeah, yeah they do. That is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna try and some cute pastels, fruit prints, stuff, even though I am dressed in full winter garb. A girl's gotta get ready. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first up we have this super cute pastel dress slash tunic slash potential shirt in this adorable daisy print. I don't know if you know this about me, but I had a cat growing up named Daisy, so I feel like anything with daisy print just really needs to come home with me. And it's great because this was actually on clearance and I just scoured the clearance section and finally found an XXL. I actually was not expecting this to fit me, but it's kind of made a little looser around the torso so it was able to fit over the widest part of my body. I also really like that I could probably wear this a couple different ways if I wanted to, like if I wanted to wear it as a, as a dress as you're seeing, I very well could, but then I could see myself tucking this in and making it, you know, a tunic or a top or something. So I liked that, that's why I decided to bring it home with me. <laughs> I just, I cannot explain to you how amazing this jumpsuit was. And I am not somebody to like jumpsuits on me, but I really love mustard. Not a color that I would typically think of this time of year. And I actually just touched base on that in a blog post, but with the colors and the style of this jumpsuit, I think it's perfect. You can see it's got a nice, you know, floral design, some blues, oranges, whites, so it really helps give it that spring feel. And I personally did not even think this would fit me, and it fit like a glove. I'm really loving the neckline. I like that it sits a little higher up. I love that it has pockets. I love that it's a bit of a higher waist too, so it's more comfortable around my belly. It doesn't look great now because I am wearing socks, but trust me, this would make a perfect summer piece. You guys, I honestly was shook when I saw that this jacket was in Old Navy because I love Old Navy, most of us do, but I feel like they are offering a lot of younger trends right now and there's so many adorable pastels, including this jacket, which is a really nice kind of suede soft fabric. It's sort of a looser made um, jacket, if that makes sense. You know, denims are a little bit of a hard fabric, whereas this is really nice and flowy. I believe I was wearing this in an XXL. For my taste and for my liking, I actually found it was a little bit big, so I would probably go back and get something smaller just because I would wear it more as like a fashion piece than a, a practical jacket. But overall, the quality of it was so good. A really, really nice fit and feel on the body and such a great staple for spring, seriously. And it came in a bunch of other colors too. Okay, so maybe you really liked that play suit I was wearing, but you don't see yourself wearing play suits. This is actually a great alternative for that. And although I don't love it on me as much as the play suit, I still really, really like it. It has similar elements, that beautiful mustard color with a floral print. I mean, it's perfect for spring, perfect for summer. I don't know if you would technically call this a maxi. I'm gonna call it a maxi. I'm 5'8", almost everything that's supposed to be long on me ends up cropped anyway, but it is really pretty very flowy. What is going on with my voice? Let's ignore that. But it's just, it's great. It was very comfortable. I believe I was wearing this in an XXL. You can see there's like a big elastic band at the back. So if you are kind of unsure about how that would fit, I'd say this actually runs a little bit on the big side. I'm also bigger chested and felt I had more than enough room as well. So if that's something you're concerned about. 
Okay, so next up is this bohemian inspired again dress, but it's kind of got a little bit of a vintage twist to it. I'm absolutely in love with the pattern on this dress. It's floral, but it's also striped. And I just think they did such a great job of combining the two um, styles there. I don't know, I really like it. I also love the color combination. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a tablecloth, but like in a good way. I don't know, it's just, I really, really like it. Um, along the shoulders, it's pure elastic as well as the waist. I'm either wearing this in XL or XXL. I, I wanna say it was an XL just because you can see how much stretch there is in it. The only thing I'm not loving is the length of it on me. That's just a personal preference. I stand at 5'8", as I already mentioned, but I feel like I lose my height when something hits me below the knee, but maybe that could be remedied by just putting on a pair of heels or something. But you can see I'm, I'm playing with it. I, I don't love it on me, but again, heels or no socks. So that could definitely fix it. Actually might go back for this one. Okay, now on to my personal favorite in this entire haul thing that I'm doing. I am a huge fan of gingham this time of year, and I also really like off-the-shoulder tops. I know some people are indifferent about them, but personally I love them. And I'm also really, really partial to red gingham, so this dress immediately grabbed my eye. I also really love the hem on it. I don't know exactly what to call it, but it's bohemian again with like a vintage twist. I'm loving that there's elastic around the waist, so it's easy to kind of play with it. I believe I was wearing this in an XXL or XL, but it is really made on the bigger side. So if you're unsure, I would say size down because it's quite large. I also really like that there's elastic around the shoulders so it stays really comfortably. The length of the sleeves, the length of the dress, I just want to live in this the entire summer and it doesn't hurt that it's super comfortable on the body as well. So I'm wearing two separate pieces here but I figured for time's sake I would just combine them together. These are both pieces in XLs, and as you can see, they fit me perfectly. I actually really, really like the fit of them on my body. The first piece is this beautiful lavender off the shoulder top. It did come in a few different colors, but for some reason, I'm really loving lavender right now. And then the skirt, again, is in an XL, and it's this really pretty blue striped mini skirt, which I love. You can see around the waistband that it is pure elastic. So that gives a little bit more room. I do think, however, I would have been a little bit more comfortable in an XXL just cause it's a little bit snug and a little short for my liking. I'm 5'8". But overall, if this was the only thing left in the store, I would 100% take it home. I really even love these combined together. I wouldn't think to put blue and purple together, but when I try them on as like a one piece, I really, really loved how it looked. Okay, last but most certainly not least, I saw this adorable bathing suit as I was on my way to the change room. So glad that I did because it is freaking adorable. Again, fruit print everywhere. It's just, it's really speaking to me. I picked this up in an XXL. It is a little snug around my breasts. Won't lie, this is not the kind of support I'd be looking for. However, the straps are adjustable. So if I wanted a little bit more lift, I think I'd be able to get it out of that. And the fact that an XXL bathing suit at Old Navy is stretchy enough to fit is totally new to me. So I'm really, really happy that I decided to try it on. You can see the back is super exposed. I'm a little bit insecure about my back fat, but you know what? This is my beach body. I'm just gonna own it. And this pineapple bathing suit is just way, way too adorable to feel insecure to wear outside. I really love that it's exposed at the front too. It kind of gives it the look of being a bikini, but we are obviously wearing a bathing suit. And I love showing off my midriff. I'm really comfortable with it. Okay, you guys, that is everything for the try on portion of this video. 
I don't know about you, but I, I was really feeling everything and there were a lot of other things in the store that I didn't try on. I just didn't have enough hands for that. And the good news too is most everything was pretty affordable. I don't think anything was more than $40. And on top of that, when I went in, things were about 30 to 50% off. You can find links to everything I'm wearing in the description below as per usual. And I would love to hear which of these were your personal favorite. As per usual, don't forget you can find new videos for me every Wednesday and every Sunday and new blog posts every Tuesday and every Thursday. And I'll see you next time. Bye.